Nelson Chamisa booted out of CCC party, Tendai Bite and Welshman Cube appointed acting presidents. Mr. Nelson Chamisa has been expelled as leader of CCC a few days after 15 MPs from the crisis-ridden party were recalled from parliament by Interim Secretary General Mr. Sanjizo Chibangu. Mr. Chamisa is facing a battery of charges from his erstwhile colleagues that include embezzlement of party funds and betrayal of some of the party's activists. It is on these grounds that Mr. Chibangu said Mr. Chimisa is no longer fit to continue as the opposition party's leader. With immediate effect, advocate Nelson Chimisa has been expelled from the Citizens' Coalition for Change, he said. Nelson Chimisa has been expelled for personalizing the party as well as his continued gross disregard of the party constitution amongst other issues including embezzlement of party funds. Last year a total of 120 US dollars 000 was raised for advocate Nelson Chimisa's bulletproof car and the money disappeared. The party received 300 US dollars 000 last month from partner international organizations for job scholars legal fees and the money disappeared. The party also received some US 6 million dollars. Part of the money was to fund the training, deployment and payment of election agents. Mr. Chibangu said the money disappeared and the party could not deploy agents at all polling stations. To steer the affairs of the party ahead, Mr. Chibangu said Mr. Chimisa's frozen former deputies namely, Mr. Tendai Bite and Professor Welshman Cube will assume the power's reins. Nelson Chimisa has failed to support crucial party events October 7 Messina mass demonstration with the potential of giving citizens victory from the stolen election while resorting to Twitter Bible verses and useless parables. Citizens want action. Chimisa has failed to petition SADC, the UN and the EU over the stolen August 23 election. Running the party along tribal lines. We, therefore, advise citizens to ignore all distractions by individuals working to derail the citizens' movement. With immediate effect, Professor Welshman Cube and Advocate Tendai Bita are acting presidents until the party convenes an extraordinary congress on the dates to be advised and all official communication will be coming from the Interim Secretary General's office," said Mr. Chibangu. In a cryptic response to Mr. Chibangu's statement, Mr. Bita only said that I am not the president of any political party. I refuse to be drawn in this mess. May my privacy and dignity be respected. However, there is seemingly no love lost between Mr. Chimisa and Mrs. Nkube and Bita who he shafted under the bus in the recently held August 23rd elections, and until now, the two have been slipping into political oblivion. The charges against Mr. Chimisa are however a matter of public record having been accused of pocketing the 3 million US dollars to pay the plus 55000 election agents for the elections. Chimisa has made the party his personal property and it is now running at his own discretion. The party symbol is his face, he makes all crucial decisions by himself and now the party is serving his personal interests. And we cannot allow that. Collaboration with ZANU-PF and ex-ZANU-PF members resulted in heavy infiltration and now the party has been hijacked. Abusing the party name to raise funds for his personal projects. Tarnishing the image of the party through stage managing abductions and through inciting public violence in the name of the party, he said. Mr. Chibangu said Mr. Chimisa was imposing candidates resulting in the loss of some constituencies and wards throughout the country. He said Mr. Chimisa was also neglecting party loyalists and bigwigs while rewarding friends, relatives, and concubines. Leave your comments in the comment video below, don't forget to share with your family and friends.